One of the main show features at this year's EDF Energy Ideal Home Show was Innovation Nation, as Gethin Jones explains. Back in January, I helped launch the uh, Innovation Nation Home Inventor of the Year competition. We've been inundated uh, with entries. And basically, the whole idea is to go out to the public, ask them to come up with uh, ingenious uh, ideas, whether it be uh, witty and quirky or some very practical ideas as well. And from then on in, the seven finalists were chosen by a panel of experts and they've been shown here every day at the Ideal Home Exhibition. This is one of the entries and we'll be finding out later who has won the coveted title. There are seven inventions on the shortlist. They've been shown here every day at the Ideal Home Show. Uh, this is one of them. This is the, the, the bike dream machine. Uh, we basically you do your exercise uh, on your bike whilst cradling your child in here. Look, it even cries on cue. That's amazing. Uh, so that is one idea. Then there's the daily parrot, which reminds you of your daily routines, whether it's brushing your teeth. That's enough now. Stop crying. I might have to get on the bike in a second. Oh, there you go. Stop. Uh, the Daily Pirate, which reminds you of uh, the, your daily routines, whether it's uh, uh, brushing your teeth, forgetting your phone, whatever, and lights come on to tell you if you've done it or not. Quite quirky, but some people might find that quite useful. Uh, then the rain or shine. Basically, it shades you when it's sunny, and when it's raining, it catches that water, uh, so you can recycle it in the garden. Brilliant. Saving water, uh, helping the environment. Uh, and then you've got uh, the uh, Happy Feet Radiator, which is basically a radiator with a hook on it where you put your slippers so you've got nice toasty feet at night if you're watching the telly or first thing in the morning. Um, and uh, what else have we got? There's loads of different ones. They're all very different. They're all very uh, uh, characteristic of the inventor themselves. Um, and who knows, they may be appearing on a shelf near you very soon. Like you've heard, we, the shortlist, the seven finalists this year are over in the corner there. Make sure you're going to have a look when you get a chance. You're going to see everything from the rain and shine to the daily parrot, which basically lights up and tells you what to do in the morning, like clean your teeth and stuff like that. From the weird and the wacky to the ridiculous and the sublime. Uh, it's been a really interesting journey since we launched the competition back in January. But today is all about one man, the winner of this year's award. So I'd like you now to please put your hands together for the winner of this year's Innovation Nation General Public inventor, home inventor competition, it's Mr. Kevin Meredith. We need more of that, he's Welsh, a bit more of a clap than that I think, yeah. Kevin, well done. Excellent. Uh, now I'm just going to have a quick word of him now because we don't need to do this, but it's worth doing because the way he thought of this invention is really interesting. Just remind us how you thought of this invention in the first place and what exactly it is. Yeah, I mean, the invention came to me literally in a dream. I was frustrated one day not being able to exercise with my, uh, with, while looking after my son. So I went to bed that night and I was dreaming I was on the Dragon's Den. And then I was, you know, doing really well, negotiating down on my percentage. And I woke up and I thought, that's not a bad idea. So I literally made some sketches and some notes. And so I woke up in the morning, showed my wife, and who usually just laughs at my ideas. And she actually thought that was a good one. So that was the beginning of it. So... You know, I went on from there. So it's, a, it's great to be here and it's a great uh, opportunity to show my invention, hopefully take it further. A thousand pounds in his back pocket. Please give it once again for Mr. Kevin Reddy. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Make sure you go and see all the, uh, all the different inventions in the corner over there. There's some fantastic ones from design students from the divorce cabinet. Uh, yeah, I know it sounds odd, but it actually works. Um, and also from the general public as well. There are seven there all together. Go and check them out. You never know. We could be awarding one of the uh, prizes out to one of you guys next year. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Congratulations, Kevin. And of course, we had to ask Gethin what his invention would be. When we uh, launched this competition back in January, uh, I brought my ideas to the table. I mentioned to, to a few of the guys, and I've always had this idea. It's spray vinegar. How many times have you been to a restaurant, you try putting vinegar on your chips and the whole thing's falling off, especially when you're on a first date, you know, you're taking out a girl for the first time, you're having chips, you're showing that you're a normal kind of guy, you like fish and chips on a Friday night, and then all the vinegar goes, goes on, the, on the chips and they get soggy. Anyway, basically the reaction I've been getting has been pretty poor, so uh, I don't think it'll be going into circulation this year. 